All right, this is a review on squareup.com and what type of company they are. Um, we started our business about two years ago and started using squareup.com. At first, the company, you know, worked out fine. But then when our um, our business picked up, you know, the, 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 the processing got more difficult with squareup.com. Um, they started, you know, withholding a lot of our money, you know, and then they started flagging us and telling us that we weren't going to receive our money until 180 days, you know, which of course flagged us. Um, they've done this to a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people. I'm not the only one that they, they've done this to. Um, there's there's a lot of companies out here that they've withheld their 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 payments for the exact same reasons. They said that that you either you know a lot of the uh, payments that we've received are fraudulent, which which weren't, you know, which they processed, and you know they they said that you know under their some kind of section 42 or some section in there and that they had the right to. So they've used the exact same section on everyone and all these other business which they used on me too. And they said that they were going to hold our visa. Some people they hold it, they say that 30 days, 90 days. They told us 180 days. All right. If I was to go and, you know, withhold someone's payment like that, you know, that would be stealing, you know. That's like me going to stick someone up and just telling them to give me their money, you know. Um, they, but they they use it they use their um what you call it, legal their legal little um terms um their policies in other words to um steal people's money I mean literally they've stolen a lot of money I mean there's a, like a bunch of complaints online about how much money they've stolen from people and have haven't even returned it all right now this is my account with Square Up they still allow me to access it. You know, like a teaser, like. So this is my account. I'm gonna show you my account. This is our, this is our company, Acme One Screen Printing. Oh, we got it uh, under here at Acme One T-shirt printing. See, Acme One T-shirt printing. We're located in Chicago. And this is my complaint about SquareUp.com. Which see, see how much money they're holding. They've been holding it since March. March of the 27th, that was one of the deposits that we're supposed to go in, but never did go in. It is now September the 24th, and they still yet have not returned our money at all. I mean, none of our money. All this money is still in squareup.com, and they haven't returned it. Let me show you how I can see if I can access the payments that were made to us, our company. Let's see. Okay. This is a Girl Scout troop, I remember, and they haven't returned that money. See? All these deposits that were made in there, and they have not returned any of our money. You see? See, we what happened was we started growing, so what we did was... What they needed us, what they needed us to do was to up the um, how much money Square Up was going to take. So we did that. We we upped the 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 amount of how much was supposed to go in there. And um, but still, you know, they said that we over exceeded our our limit, and then they just started flagging us and and just closed down the uh, closed down our account. In other words, we can't swipe anymore, which is fine with me. I, I we stopped using them. We stopped using them a long time ago. They're the worst company out here. I mean, the worst. I mean, they literally, they will flag you for anything. This company, I think, was more made for, like, smaller businesses where you take, you know, you can take, like, little small little, small little transactions, you know, real small transactions. I, I think they're like um, 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 PayPal. PayPal's the same way. You know, you can just take, like, small transactions. They they're not made for 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 bigger transactions. I mean, literally they're not, and they literally I mean literally 
keep your money. I mean, for real, as you can see, as you can see, how much money they've kept of mine, and it's still, it's now September the 24th. Now, if you think I'm kidding, all you gotta do is log on, log online, and and um, look up, square up bad complaints or square up complaints on complaints. See, look, I did it now. Just to give you guys an example, these are their bad complaints right now. Let's see. I'm gonna click on this one. This one's February the 12th. This is a little bit more recent. One that's a little bit more recent. Let's see. If it comes up. All right. This one is from Tom. I am a small business owner in Arizona. Uh, where products? How much? Uh, after running several charges through them, they put a hold on a legitimate business account and held over five thousand dollars of their business capital. Of course, most of us small businesses, you know, we rely on our capital. These guys rely on stealing their money. You know, this guy wants to take all our money and play with it, in other words. Um, I mean, there's a lot more here, too. I mean, there's a lot more here. I mean, it's, you know, impossible to try to get in touch with these guys. They set it up to where you can't even, uh, you can't call them. You go on, you, you, you go on some kind of recorder and, and that's it. You know, you leave a message and you, you don't hear from them. But, like I said, I am not the only one that they've done this to. I mean, there's a bunch here. These are all square up complaints, all of them, everyone. See, these guys, too, I have been in the same problem because I complained. And I was high risk and holding my home 180. I mean, they use the exact same line for every for everyone just to keep your money. And I have not read not once yet. You know, look at this guy too. They have a hundred, a uh, thousand five hundred. What was this? June, in June. Yeah, June 2012. I mean, they use the exact same excuse for everyone to keep your money. You know, and what are they doing with that money? I mean, because I know the 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 the, the payments are processed. You know, and they they're just holding it. It's like they they're holding it to collect interest for them to make money off of what you you've already you know. Your hard earned money. I mean, someone needs to do something about this company. I mean, literally, someone needs to do something about them. I even heard that they, 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 they merge or have an account, have um, um, Starbucks 